Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Veritas at Fortitude, a mod for your opener of Salus 4. We are playing Hohenzollern. We are currently annexing two vassals, Mycin and Bohemia. Surprisingly, in this mod, annexing vassals is relatively cheap. I guess because it takes so fucking long to get to the point where you can actually hit the annex button. Uh, but yeah, to annex all this land was only 220 Diplo points. Ridiculously cheap. Uh, and that's going to take... Uh, about three years, whereas Mycin is almost done. All right, that'll be two of our 12 relationships gone. We do still have our dynasty on the Scottish throne. I'm a little confused about why on her death it would cause a war between France and us because France is not my rival. In regular EU4, when you wind up with a personal union, like, oh, I can make, uh, no, I'm not going to make them rivals. In regular EU4, if you wind up in a situation where you get a union, then the the uh, the person you have to go to war with to keep the union is a rival of yours. In this case, it's not. My two rivals, Hungary and Poland, they're not in the list of, uh, they're not going to be who we fight. It says we're going to fight France. And uh, guess what? Our heir died. So now we're in a situation where when Christoph the first dies, we're going to get a personal union under France. And that's not cool. That is just not cool. So to prevent that from happening, we're going to declare war on Poland. And uh, that's going to prevent it from happening. <laughs> if we declare war on Poland, then it'll change from personal union to just we get France's dynasty. And I'm okay with getting France's dynasty. There's nothing wrong with that. So who's going to join me in this war? Everyone. Yay. Good. Oh, Mecklenburg won't join. Why? You're threatened. Wait. Why are you threatened? Really? How about if I improve relations? Will that help? Oh, I need to up my funding on troops. Wait, why are you threatened? I mean, I guess we don't need his help. It would just be really convenient to have his help. What the hell, Mecklenburg? No, you know what? You know what? I, I can't sit around and wait for Mecklenburg to say yes. I have to go because our king could die at any moment. And uh, it would really suck to have a union. Alright, let's go. Show superiority. Yep. We don't need to take any land. I did, I did get a claim. I got a claim on Glogo, so we could take... That, that would make our borders look very nice, getting Glogo. But, because you know me, I always give a shit about how the borders look. But we don't have to take that. I just want to make sure we have uh, a CB. If, if we lose the rival reward, uh, then I want to make sure we have a CB. So, go ahead. Ah, play some bubbles. Play some more bubbles. Oh, someone dishonored. Moonster dishonored their alliance with Poland. Okay. Sweden's in, France is in, Prussia's in. All right. Uh, let's go... Go to his capital. And, uh, I don't know. Go to... Go sit in Brandenburg. Ally Castile to counter France? We might have to. If, uh... If the King of Scotland, I'm sorry, if the Queen of Scotland dies and we get this union, then we're going to have to fight France. We're going to have to bring in somebody who can fight France, because I sure as hell can't fight France. Uh, but France can't declare war on us right now because we're in a war together. Uh, yeah, he's got 10,000 more troops than I do, although his manpower is garbage. We might be able to beat him just by having more manpower, because we could just keep recruiting, whereas he cannot. But yeah, total numbers, he's ahead of us by quite a bit. Well, I guess that's something we could do here. We could get some more units going. What do we need? We have um, 22, 9, and 6. Let's get four more cannons and... Um, hmm. Four more cannons. Four more cannons and eight more soldiers. Let's just start with that, and then we'll take a look at getting some cavalry later. Oh, right. Cannons are very expensive. 43 ducats each. In Jitapam, a chase was an option to replay a round. Ooh. 
Yeah. Whatever that is. Caesar at Nihil. We win! Yay! Cannons are so expensive. Oh, Poland's king died. I'm going to... Where's his army? I don't know where his army... I was going to clear... I think I'll clear out half of my guys. I'll clear out half the guys, and we'll just keep sieging with some of them. I don't want to get too involved, though. Oh, there he is. He's invading uh, Turov Pinsk. Why are you invading Turov Pinsk? Some other war. And Prussia don't give a fuck. Prussia's like, I'm going to go beat you up in Turov Pinsk. Nice job, Prussia. So glad he's my ally. He doesn't have the most soldiers, but he gets some nice uh, military benefits. Mo military bonuses. And yeah, I think you're right. An ally with Castile might be a good idea. Mm. Although he is currently losing a war to Naples because he's stupid. But yeah, we'll do that anyway. Probably just... I don't think I'll accept any of his marriage offers. Well, maybe. I don't know. It really depends. If if we're going to start fighting France, oh boy, that's going to be something, right? For now, I'm not I'm not thinking along that route. For now, I'm thinking about keeping France as our ally. But uh, we, we're going to have to burn that bridge when we come to it, right? This tech is so stupid. The only thing this tech does is make your navy cost more. It, it has no benefits at all. Nothing. I just don't want to click the button. I'm like th I, that tech just doesn't agree, doesn't agree with me. Oh God, Brunswick was annexed. Brunswick was annexed by Bremen. Whoa, Bremen! How did you annex Brunswick? I'm not sure if that's good or bad. That's probably very bad. Damn. Bye, Brunswick. Uh, you know what? I think that means we should get relations up with Bremen. And uh, Castile, let's give you some relations. Yeah, Brunswick was a nice province. It's eight base tax with gold. Uh, I had held off so many times on annexing him simply because, well, it was expensive. And uh, getting the extra inflation from gold is just not my idea of fun. All right, we have enough for one more cannon. I want two more cannons, but we'll get one at a time. Oh, bombards. That must be a uh, tech that I don't have yet. Is that a Bavarian core? Hold on. Yeah, it's Bavaria. So Bavaria's higher tech, his tech 15, is giving us the ability to recruit bombards, which are better types of cannons. We don't have them yet. Uh, tech 15 cannons, yeah. All right, fine. Give me those Bavarian cannons. Yeah, nice. In this mod, you don't get inflation from gold? Really? Really? You don't get inflation from gold? Really? Are you sure? Are you sure about that? Yay, goodbye, Mycin. Mycin is no more. Hohenzollern, woohoo! Look at that name. You kind of have to squint to read it, but it's there, baby. <laughs> that line works on all the ladies. Yeah, wow, she's been in power now for almost 10 years and she still has no heir. Oh well, it happens. And yeah, Mecklenburg is uh, threatened for some reason. I don't know why. Have to find out where Mycin's troops were. I see a cavalry there. I mean, I'll take it. I don't know where his troops were, though. Somewhere. He might not have had any. No, he had some troops. He had like five units somewhere. 
All right, so we now have Saxony, Wittenberg, Anhalt, and Thuringen. So four, six, eight, 15 more base tax. Nice. Very nice. Hey, we now accept Saxon culture. Cool. How's that look? Pretty good. Saxon culture is... Culture map. That's a big chunk of land, Saxon culture. Wow. Okay. So anything we take in this area will be fully accepted. Cool. How are we doing on the whole what we need to form Germany thing? Mm hmm. We still need Nuremberg, Brunswick, Lüneburg, Altmark, and Rostock. Okay. So we need Lüneburg and Altmark. Uh, da, 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 Brunswick, okay. Rostock up there. And Nuremberg down there. Okay. Can do. We should get a claim on Brunswick. We don't need Altmark because that's going to Brandenburg. It's their core. We'll get a claim on Brunswick. We'll go to war with Bremen for that. That looks like a fun war. That's a pretty big war. Have to fight Milan for that one. One more cannon, please. More bombards, please. Provincial administrators in the Platinum. Yeah, sure, whatever. Part of the integration process. Takes time. I don't know why Mecklenburg has suddenly gone threatened. Uh, we've been we've been in several wars together, and he's never been threatened. It could just be because we're growing and he's not. Possible. Okay, we took the capital. That's all I'm going to do in that war is take the capital. Now we're going to fall back. There's no need for me to be in this war. I mean, there's no need for me to stand over there and uh, police it manually. Oh, there's the army. There's Mycin's army. Holy shit, Mycin. You had a decently sized army. Uh... All right, I'll let you finish sieging, then I'll get you out of there. I didn't realize that was Mycin's army there. I'm like, oh, that must be my army. It was Mycin's army. Wow, we're over our limit now. Whoops. Uh, I guess we'll get rid of half of these guys. There. Cyprus is independent. Really? Yeah. Oh no, they're a vassal. Vassal of the Mamluks. Never mind. The knights are supporting the independence of Cyprus. Gotcha. Crete's independent, though. Athens is almost dead. Chair will null trees with Liege. Okay. Our three vassals are still voting for us, for emperor. Not that we need emperor, but there they are. I pronounce stuff badly? Well, guess what? <laughs> That's to be expected. That is normal. Very much normal. Oh, shit. She went and had a baby. That's fine. God damn it, Scotland. Why'd you go and have a baby? That's so inconsiderate. Hey, Savoy has no heir. Tuscany has no heir. No, they do have an heir. It's just a weak claim. Okay. Tuscany? Tuscany has no heir. Interesting. He's going to get um, the Turter dynasty from Slavonia. Slavonia has the Turters. <laughs> Turter sauce. <laughs> Prussia just destroyed Poland's army. Good times. And Meissen, get your army out of there. Uh, yeah, go to Ulm. We'll group up over there and figure out what kind of army we want. Composition, I mean. But yeah, let's unfund the army. We don't need to pay them anymore. You've done a good job, troops. Now go home. Alright, I'm going to go for two techs at once. That'll make it sting less. There we go. Okay. Just pretend that first one didn't happen. <laughs> oh my god, B-Dude, that blue text is so bright. 
Can you compare your troops with France's? How would you compare troops? I don't know. Um, I can't see what troops he's using, so I don't know what you mean. Do you mean numbers? We did this earlier. Uh, we're at 58, France is at 48, but we have 50,000 manpower, France has zero. So we could easily beat them in a war, I think. A defensive war, anyway. I am concerned about their tech level, but I think it would be okay. Especially if we get uh, all of our allies joining us. That's the thing. If if we get the Union over Scotland, Scotland, it would be France declaring war on us. So it's a defensive war. All of my allies join. Even people like Mecklenburg who are threatened, they would still join. So Prussia, Mecklenburg, uh, Castile would probably join. Scotland would definitely be on our side. We would have all of our allies against who that, whoever the hell he can get. Uh, Croatia, Tomond, Avignon, Bavaria, Savoy. He has like no allies that are meaningful. Except us. The rest of them can go climb a tree. Brandenburg relations go. And let's start fabricating on Brunswick. No mission selected. Well, the missions t are terrible. Take Glogo. I was thinking about taking Glogo, but we don't have to. Um, maybe we should. Yeah, let's do it. Fucking take Glogo. How's our uh, heat map right now? It's almost gone. We've been at, uh, our heat map's almost gone. But we can't peace out yet, because we still have no fucking air. We need to, we need to stay in this war until we get an air. Or until we die. Yeah, if we... If, oh my god, France's air is so bad. <laughs> Henry, he's an 010. Wow, that is one shitty air. Um, yeah, so we have a few choices here. We could convert our king into a general, and that'll increase his chances of dying. Or we could just sit around in this war until we get a baby. Either way, if we if we turn our, gen, our king into a general, increase the chance of dying, then we'll get France's dynasty. Which is fine. I don't mind having France's dynasty. But it means we lose the dynasty that Scotland now has. But yeah, both options are viable, I think. Rebels in Brysko. France, you want to kill my rebels? Yeah, France, go to Brysko. He's not going to Brysko. Damn it, France, you're supposed to go to Brysko. Uh, where's my generals? There's a general. 4-1. You'll take it. You'll do it. Go to Brysko. Fund the army. Kill the rebels. Stupid peasants. Should know your place by now. So Castile's just piecing out of all these guys. Uh, does he even have an army left? Yeah, no, he still has an army. Hohenzollern. Looking good. God, we need babies. Make babies. Do you not understand make babies? Make babies. Oh my god. Make fucking babies. Or fuck to make babies. Either way works. Do both. Do all the things. Make all the babies. I was really hoping Mecklenburg would join this war so that we could then so that we could then declare war on Lunenburg during this war and not have to fight Mecklenburg. But I guess we could declare war on Hesse. Avignon, Aachen, Cleves, Lunenburg, and Luxembourg. Yeah, that's fine, but then we'd have to fight the Emperor. Shits. I don't want to fight the Emperor. Unless we have to. No, I just don't want to fight the Emperor. I want to stay on good terms with the Emperor, bro. Yo. Yo. Hmm.
Oh, Poland. You poor dog. Oh my god, Austria. <laughs> oh, goodness. I forgot that Bavaria was invading Austria again, but there they are. God damn it, France, he's standing there giving me attrition. Look at that, he's standing there with 25 motherfuckers giving me attrition. What a jerk. What a jerk. Sutarol's a little better because no one's going to walk over there accidentally. But Salzburg, everyone walks there. Hey, free manpower, thanks. I just got 7,000 free manpower. Well, I guess 10% of what our max is. That's rather nice. Nobles in Zurich. It's always nobles in Zurich. Can anyone tell me why we always get noble rebels in Zurich? They always rebel. This is like the sixth or seventh time we've had noble rebels in Zurich. And there's no modifier here about nobles or anything. Nothing. Everything in Zurich is happy, go lucky, hunky dory. Everything's kosher, no problemo, and yet we always get noble rebels in Zurich for some fucking reason. Maybe I should just leave my army in Zurich. Go on, kill them all. I mean, they don't fight very well. But it's kind of annoying to have them keep popping up. You'd think they would learn their lesson and just go away. Give me a baby! I need a baby! God damn it, give me a baby! I'm gonna go marry Castile. I want more marriages. I want more babies. More babies. Oh my god, look how many marriages we have. How many marriages does it take for one of you to pop out a baby? For fuck's sake, make baby. Checking who we have marriages with. Looks like we have marriages with everyone. Yeah, we do. So why aren't you make baby? No, the king's not celibate. He had a baby, and the baby died. What the hell? We have Naples? Naples has my dynasty? I'm not even married to Naples. How did Naples get my dynasty? Are you, are you married to Scotland? No, he's not married to Scotland. How did you get my dynasty? What? How did Naples get my dynasty? What the fuck? I don't even know. But I'm not going to peace out until something happens. We need a baby. Give me a baby. Revolt in bells. I don't care. That's in fucking Poland. Noble rebels in Poland. Castile will give Gibraltar to Granada. Ah. <laughs> Alright, but they still have positive prestige, so they're going to keep their union over uh, Aragon. Okay. Kohlberg. Uh, where the fuck is Kohlberg? Oh, up there. I don't care. No one gives a crap about Kohlberg. 
Oh, we could release Pomerania as a vassal. Ooh, hold on to your horses. Ooh, ooh. Ah, oh, but they don't own Rostock. They don't have a core in Rostock. But um, they do have one, two, three, four, five cores. Okay. So it might be worth doing. The thing is, if we're gonna if we're gonna lose our alliance with Mecklenburg, then that allows us to go to war for Brandenburg's two cores here in Prignitz and Newmark. So those will be for Brandenburg, and then we could get four provinces for Pomerania if we get Pomerania as a vassal. So that's a possibility, right? Pomeranian nationalists. All right, go Pomeranian nationalists. Do your thing. Religion spreads to Legnica. The, re the religion in Legnica changes to Catholic. Okay. So no more Hussites. Interesting. I didn't even do it. I didn't even convert it. Someone else did the, the tough work. Oh god, Austria is getting absolutely fucking crushed. And this is all France. France has sieged all of this. Well, no. Bavaria sieged Brook. And Bavaria is sieging Stiermark. What is the war for? Is it Stiermark? No, it's just a rivalry war, so he can take whatever the fuck he wants. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know why it's so difficult to get a baby. We have... Let me just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have eleven marriages. With eleven marriages, you'd think we'd find a way to make baby. So far, no luck. Oh shoot, my stupid vassal's killing the the uh, nationalist rebels up there. Damn it. Austria will cede Bruck to Bavaria. Slavonia will cede Toronto to Hungary. Slavonia will give Bronsivo, Serbia, and Valjevo to Serbia. Okay. So Bavaria now has a border with Hungary. Interesting. I wonder if that's going to cause some friction between them. It might. Very interesting. Did I research the tech for making baby? No, I did not. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I need to research tech for baby. Oh god, Athens. All of Athens is flipping to Bulgaria through rebels. That is sad. Religious rebels. So Athens is, yeah. It's because Athens is a, is a crusader state. They're a Catholic crusader state. So all this land is orthodox, and it's just going to flip back to Bulgaria. Come on, give me babies. Please. Need baby. Need baby, please help. Help baby, please. It's just not happening, is it? Tech map. We are still yellow. France seems to be the tech leader at 16, 15, 16. Which is 2... Four. He's four techs ahead of us. That's fine. What did he take for ideas? He has diplomatic, offense, innovative, mercantile, quality, and exploration. So similar to what we have, except he's also got exploration going. Uh, I don't see any colonies yet. No French colonies? Not yet. Portugal's all over fucking North America, though. Alright, there goes Bohemia. Goodbye, Bohemia. Oh man, that border. Our name No! Our name went from went from uh Alemania Saxony over to Bohemia. No That's terrible. Oh man. But it has brought our relations down to eleven, which is good. 
Anyway, I think we're going to call this episode here. Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Bohemia is no more. And we have this new stack of 14. Uh, well, we're over our limit. So I think what we'll do is cut them in half. You know, you know what? I won't cut them in half. I'll cut the soldiers in half. Is that enough? Is that going to be enough? 522. 11-5-3. I might just have too much cav. I'll kill some guys. Uh, anyway, come on home. You guys can be based in Chechi. Not a problem. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for, thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. We still cannot figure out how to make baby. And uh, we're going to have to stay in war until we figure out baby. Uh, I don't care if we get French dynasty. I don't care what we get, just so long as we have baby. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Please, if you can, send an instruction manual on how to baby because I can't figure it out.